Welcome to Movie Making. I'm your host, Rennell Golden. Hi, everybody. I am here with Sir Keith Holman, a designer, and we are so excited to have you here today uh, with us. Uh, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I, I'm I'm doing good. I mean, it's I'm so excited to have you here because you are like royalty uh, oh. in my mind among designers, and you have dressed like Hollywood royalty. You you just your background is amazing, and I wanted to talk to you today about your journey in this field and. Also, maybe a few tidbits about like some of your favorite people to dress and stuff like that. But let's let's go back to the beginning. When did you know that you wanted to go into this this business? You wanted to do design and dress people and style them and all that great stuff. I think I I back in the sixties, I used to watch the um, Carol Burnett show. And um, those kind of those shows, you know, with L Lola Falana and see Bob Mackie and yeah, I used to those clothes, and I said, God, I would like to work with those people. That's what I'd like to do. Oh and, wow! Um, then my my parents told me to go to law school, oh. business school. <laughs> you kind of like took the wrong road to the school, huh? I love this one. This is this is and, awesome. Well I, well, I tell you what, I went to. L.A., I mean, um, to um, uh, Washburn University, which was a law school. Oh, wow. I did what I said. Yeah, I did. I, I was that, that or, and they sent me to a military, I mean, uh, a, uh, to be a minister, uh, um, um, oh, priest. Yes, yes. The theological? Oh. What, what? I forget what they call yeah. that. Priest. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> did you finish that and then go into fashion? I didn't, and they, so I ended up going up to, um, then they tried to send me to a military academy, and they drove me over to it, and I wouldn't do it either, oh, but wow. I liked it, but those people who did it, but I didn't do it. Right, right, right. You ended up at what, um, San Jose, or I, I read your bio quickly. Thank you. Um, I went to Wa Washburn University in Topeka, Kansas, then my parents oh, yeah. moved to San Jose, and that's when I went to San Jose State. So once you you did that, you know you you kind of set out on your own, and and how did you hit that point where okay, I'm going to be a designer? You you had a mentor or somebody that helped you cross into this? I had, uh, I was fortunate to have someone by the name of Stella Ruata. Okay. Who was a beater and a uh, customer, and also Bill, the late Bill Witten. Okay. A designer. Oh, wow. And I they, I went to school, and I went to work with them um, after I graduated. But I mean, I'm still doing stuff in the Oh, in wow. The studio. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, w what was your, like, your first... Uh, design client how, when you were kind of like on your own who who was it was it terrifying or exciting like how did that go oh boy you, you know gosh the one I liked was Jermaine Stewart okay um, I worked with him and I did a video called say it again oh wow okay yeah that I, video I know was that great. yeah and I work. I mean, I work with some people. I work with the Supremes and Mary Wilson, the late Mary Wilson, was amazing. She was. I mean, she she really. I mean, you know, I was very fortunate to work yeah. with her and and uh, uh, with the Supremes, and then I was fortunate to work with Bill Wooden and with Michael Jackson. I mean, I I was very fortunate with the. Uh, do you have a favorite design you ever did for somebody? Like, um, you know, maybe for an award show or something? Like, I don't know, but do you have a favorite? Um, wow. I did so many, did so many things. 
Um, you know, it's kind of like me in movies. I wouldn't have a clue. I love them all for different reasons. I love them all. Oh, wow. Is there anybody mm -hmm. you ever wanted to design that you hadn't? That you'd still maybe like love to have the shot to do it? Mm. Uh, wow. I, <laughs> There's so I, many good ones, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I've worked with so many. I was fortunate to work with so many people and uh, that that are no longer here too, like uh, Dame Elizabeth Taylor, who was amazing. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What, what about, um, th this is probably a silly question, but who's easier to design for, the man or the woman? Because you've done both. And Yeah. I, I mean, I've designed for both and styled for both. Um, Somebody who's confident and open. I can't really say. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I I can't even imagine because I, I would think designing is kind of, you're, it's intimate because you've got to know what they like, what they don't like, and you've got to know their waist size. So it's kind of like such a personal journey in my mind for someone to go through being designed and put together. What about designing for a certain type of event or like a show or a music video? Does it matter? Well, Do you have a favorite? I, you know what I, what I really liked? What? Dolly Parton. Oh my God, British I love her, yeah. Show. What she did was just when I needed you most. <gasps> oh, wow. That's when I made the clothes for her. Oh my um, gosh, that's so cool. I designed the clothes, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought it was wonderful. Um, oh. I like New Edition, you know, Hit Me Off video, and and I like, of course, the Supremes. And I mean, you know, it's, I've worked with so many people, it's just kind of hard to say. Uh, women are, I tell you who I like, right? The Mary Wilson, the lady Mary Wilson was an Amer amazing. She knew her, her body. He had her style. He was open to, to, to suggestions, uh, but you couldn't just put anything on her. Right, right. She, was, she can't be straight. Like <laughs> she, could be, we, I dressed her for the uh, the uh, the horse derby, oh, and she right. was the best woman at the uh, oh wow. derby. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that sounds cool. So when when you're um, designing for someone, like, do they get involved in, like, the color palette or the types of fabrics they want to wear? Or, or do you get free reign to figure all of that out? Wow. Um, a little bit of both. TV okay. shows up and movies, the, the, the director has their idea how he wants the character to be. Right. Or what it look like. Right. Um, for videos and for them going across on stage, they kind of have an idea how what they like because they won't feel comfortable unless they feel comfortable in the clothes. Yeah, so if they want to like wear like a, a blue shade or something, they're going to tell you, I, I'm picturing this, and then you kind of create it? Uh, I, I have for... The late Heavy D, I did a Sprite commercial for him and the, the boys. Oh, and wow. wanted a certain shade of green and yellow. And they sent me a Sprite can and colors. And they said, oh. we want to keep it. Oh, that's funny. That's actually really cool. We want to match the uh, the can. Oh, the can. oh that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's kind of cool. Um, my friend had sent me a question to ask you, and um, I never would have thought of this one, but she wanted to know, and, and this is the friend I was telling you about you ultimately will meet, but she wanted to know where you go for inspiration and ideas when you're putting your designs together. <laughs> it depends on what I'm, who I'm working with and what it's for. Gotcha. Yeah. Because so many sketches already, but it depends on what it's for. So, so I'll say the client and I'll say, what are we doing? Where are we going? 
what do what do you feel like? What are you looking for? What do you yeah you know, what is it, is it fancy? Is it every day? I would think all of that would matter. Yeah, the end the end goal probably matters more than inspiration. Even I don't know. That's that's so cool. How long does it typically like? Let's say you're you're designing something for the Oscars and someone is it's to walk across the stage and and do the red carpet as they arrive. Um, how long do you need to design and create something? Are those things like months or? <laughs> It can be. It can. Months. Mm -hmm. Okay. To, to uh, create something with somebody that you never work with, or uh -huh. fitting, I mean, to design it, to if it's beaded, to beat it, right. to make a sound, to let them try it on, adjust it, make sure it fits right, the arms are right, and all that. It's a, it can be quite amazing. Or a lot of times you go to stores get the, the new sample from the designers and try it on the person also. It, so oh, it depends. Oh, okay. Interesting. A lot of those that you see people wear for the Oscar, uh, for the award shows are borrowed. They don't own them. Oh. So after it, they'll send it back. Oh, that's interesting. You know, I never think about that. that. I know that's true for the jewelry too. That makes sense. Yes. Wow, I would be like, I want to keep it and give it to my daughter. <laughs> you can keep it if you want to pay for it. Yeah, Off the dish, oops, they want can to I have a loan? <laughs> well, the thing is, because it's good exposure. It is, it is for well, upcoming designers. Um, uh, publicity for design for design houses. Yes. Now, if um, if you're working on like a film, let's say, because like on my films. We might have some things that are very original, but there, there's one film that I'm working on now that takes place from 1978 to 2018. And, wow. um, you know, we have all these decades. So some things won't be um, designed from scratch. That might be a thing where you actually have to send out your people and maybe shop for it or something. Like rent them. You rent, rent them. From them. The, yes, okay. from the nine houses. Yeah. And you look at period 70 to 75 or whatever. Yeah. Long, the, the one storyline has male strippers in it that from like, um, am I allowed to say that? You know, yeah. the chipping something. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. So there's a little bit of, of that in the story. It's just a little piece of the story, but we're like, those will probably get designed and made from scratch. I think the outfits they wear, but um, you uh, know, I, how long do those need? Because a lot of those clothes that they see, the, the suit, the jackets and the pants have, um, um, or they have a, a Velcro or snaps on them. Yeah. So they can, yes. Yep. So that'll be interesting. I, 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 I look forward to when we get to that point in this film. And then I'm working on another one that we're going to bring you up to. And that has some beautiful stuff too. So I can't wait to, to like have you up there and introduce you to people. Yep. Um, huh? So if somebody wanted to break into this particular industry, what what would you tell them? Like, where do they begin? Well, I, I think that a, a budding designer or stylist would want to work with the designer who are a stylist who's already established uh, as an assistant and also to go to design school or a school uh, where they can learn about the fashion and clothes and how they're made or how they're um, kept. That's important. It, it is probably really important for them to be able to translate what they picture in their head to paper. And that that's where yeah. like design school really pushes you to the next level. Correct. Mm -hmm. Kind of like storyboarding. Um, I can do yeah. stick figures, but you're not going to probably know what I mean. So I've got to use a storyboard artist. <laughs> Yes. Um, mm -hmm. So, so they could volunteer. Do you think it, it, is this advantageous to like make a few pieces and take it 
to like, you know, indie filmmakers or something and let people see what you can do and see if they want to use it when you're starting out in your industry or do you, is it better to assist? I think that one of two things you want to, if you can storyboard and you can draw, it's great. But, or you do a, put things together and take pictures of them and put it on a storyboard, you know, that storyboard. Oh, right. Pictures. Right, and to show what you can do. There you go. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. It's um there's so many parallels. And so um I think I already asked you this, but like between music videos, movies, and actual events, you don't have a favorite? Or you do? Mm -hmm. Gosh. You take my 30, 30 years of stuff. You uh, just love them all. You do, don't you? <laughs> uh, uh, I, uh, uh, I've done so many. <laughs> I think that... No, I can't. No favorites. Well, that's fair. You should love what you do. That's what makes you rich in life, is loving what you do. Not just your bank account, but being able to say, I love what I do, and you get up and you look forward to it. Mm -hmm. it, I think it, so. Yeah, and and that's you know that's what matters. I think. Um, so, I asked you this before. I'm going to just ask you one more time. Anybody you ever dreamed of working with? I've worked with so many people that I that you would have dreamed of. That's true. That's a who's who. Um, any funny you know, stories that you wanted I, to I, share might have happened? Maya Twain. I oh, like her. I love her. Yeah. I, I with her, but I like her style. I think she's elegant. She's real. Yeah. Um, and she's she's she knows how to she's wear clothes. <laughs> yeah, she's a fierce lady. I love her. Fierce in a good way, like right. She's woman like and powerful. <laughs> right. I because I, 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 I watch her on her uh tv shows or videos or uh instagram or whatever and i just think she's amazing oh yeah definitely absolutely um so you got any funny stories before we switch to our last five for five anything that ever happened that maybe could have gone wrong but you saved the day somehow or uh, i don't um, know <laughs> I'll say I'll say that one. Yes. Um, um no, I'll wait for you to say your questions. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Well, then I think that I've asked you everything I can think of right now. We're gonna switch mm -hmm. and I hope that you'll come back, but we're gonna switch to our five for five. And these are okay. just really goofy little questions for people to know you as a person a little bit more. Um so whenever you're ready, I'm going to start the five for five. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, okay, here we go. And these are really hard. Yep, there'll be a test later, maybe. All right. What is your favorite food? I love sushi. Oh, any kind of sushi? Every kind of sushi? Um, fresh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Next question. What is your favorite thing to drink after working all day? You know what? Coconut water. Oh, is it is it have a special property to it? A lot of people did say water when I've asked them that, and I was really oh, impressed. Very um, refreshing, and I like the taste of it. Oh, that's, that's very cool. Do you make it yourself, or? No, you just buy it. You just buy it, okay. Pot. All right, so cool. Um, what is one thing that you have always dreamed of doing but haven't done yet? Going to Egypt. Ooh, okay. That's a good one. Another person had told me running with the bulls because apparently that happens on their birthday every year. Those are good. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, that might hurt. That's what I said. I'm like, that, that sounds I like the cool. person to do it, but not me. But each oh, one sounds cool. Oh my gosh. Uh, you would see the pyramids probably, right? 
I would love, I would love that type. Yes. Yeah, that would be so cool. Okay, this is a fun one. And you probably have a lot of these though. What is your favorite song to sing at the top of your lungs when you're riding in a car? Um, I, I... <laughs> yeah, don't ask me because I don't have an answer. I love so many. <laughs> it's like a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. That's that's fair. Like all of them, right? You can go back to the Supremes. Um, yeah, the No Edition or the Jacksons or. Yeah. I mean, yes. Yes. I, I like uh, I Am Woman, Hear Me Roar. Especially if I'm going to a meeting or something. And uh, I mm -hmm. don't know. I love them all. I love Shania Twain's about shaving your legs. But I have to hear that one on the thing. It's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay. And this is the last one. I never have an answer for myself, but I like okay. to ask people, what is your favorite movie? Oh, you are asking <laughs> me. I know. Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's, good. it's good. I would say what I, I was raised in the Midwest all, uh, all over Montana. I would say Wizard of Oz is one. Um, oh, Yeah. Let's say movie wise. Yeah. Um there's so many. I know. I know it's really hard. And I always love the musicals, like Sound of Music or something. I, yeah, I don't know. But um, but what about I think you might have one on this one. What about a favorite music video? Oh man. <laughs> the two are very special to me. Yes. Is dancing on the ceiling with Lana Oh Ritchie. my God, I love that. Yeah. I work with a designer who worked with, uh, we made Lionel's clothes, and I was Lionel's double in that video. When no way. Moved. So I was, yeah, that was great. That is so I was, cool. I would say that, and um, other video, just when I need you most with this, uh, um, uh, Dolly Parton. Yeah. And I would say, uh, my, uh, remember the time, Michael Jackson? Oh, my God. Okay. I love Michael Jackson. I always thought I could grow up and marry him. It didn't mm -hmm. work out, but, you know. Oh, he was a nice guy. He was amazing. And, and his music just, I don't know. I grew up to that in the 80s, 70s. I, I loved him. So those are really good ones. And I kind of, you know, sometimes I like music videos better than uh, the movies. Mm -hmm. So um, very cool. Well, I have had a great time talking to you. Thank you so much for just hanging out with me for a half hour and uh, sharing your stories. I hope that you will come back again. And uh, I can't wait to meet you in person. Thank, thank you for having me. And thank you. Your friends and all of everybody, and I'm very excited about this. That'd be yes, great. Me too. And I will talk to you very soon. You have a great day. Bye. Right, bye bye. Bye bye. You've been listening to Movie Making with Renelle Golden. See you next time. This podcast has been sponsored by Samara Entertainment.